Okay, we're gonna do. We do a random run. Here we go. See what we get. Do not give me him. Oh my god, it got worse. It got literally worse. Jacob and Iso. Here we go. Alright, boys. Hey, you're actually... You're the guy who kind of needs that. We've solved Jacob and Iso's problems. Within 15 seconds. These two little firing squad gremlins can actually get some work done. Did I say they can actually get work done? I'm a liar. Let's go get him his heart. We can't. We can't even get in there. I know, like, a general strategy with these guys is if you get them separated, just run to the corner of the room, and then congratulations, ta-da, you're back. Because it's just running these two together. Which these guys are. These guys are actually really difficult. I find them really difficult to play as. I know other people do as well. But. They're okay. If we get a really good run, I'm going to be honest with you. We might go. We're probably going to go the alternate route for the first couple floors. Just because we can get both items. And there's no reason to not run alternate route with uh, Jacob and Iso. Like, these two goblins are... I can't believe it. We're already messing it up pretty bad. Here we go. But no, alternate floor is basically just Jacob and Iso City, so... It makes sense to have Jacob and Iso run the second floor. We have no heart, which is really bad. Having no hearts on these two is actually kind of like the worst thing that you can do. And it really sucks, because you really need to, like, split damage on these two. Because if you don't split the damage, you're just going to mess your stuff up. I think the thing I hate about the alternate floor is that it's just difficult for the sake of being difficult and not difficult for, like, any real challenge. You might say, well, it's difficult. It means it is a challenge. I'm like, yeah, it's a challenge, but it's like an arbitrary challenge because there's like just arbitrary conditions on each stage that are completely different from the base game that is like, why are they here? It just don't make no sense. We're going to give him Tammy's head and we're going to take whatever we just got. I think it's the contact damage one. But this is good because then Iso can go from being not as tanky to actually having stuff.
He'll get Judas's tongue. Um. At first, I always thought like the reflection didn't mean they were invisible. I just thought they were in the floor for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. Especially because the flashes of light make it very abundantly clear that, hey, you just can't see them. I just... Yeah, like this guy. Like, I have no idea what this guy even does or why he's here. Like, I just find the alternate path to be really annoying. But you have to run them as J you have to run it as Jacob and Eso. There's too much stuff at hand that you can't really afford not getting it. Especially because they are two separate entities. It's got to go on Jacob. He's got no real, like, other damage. This is, if there was one thing worse than the alternate path, it's alternate path with, like, curses. Just not a fan of the alternate path. Like, look, like, why are there so many enemies that pop up in just one room? It's kind of egregious. Okay, this thing needs to die because, yeah, these things suck. That's a secret thing. Yeah, no, it just makes sense to put them both on him. Okay, Jacob's going back to take the lead. But he's gotta. Give me that. Compass is okay. And when I say compass is okay, I mean compass is really not okay. We didn't get anything for that. That's not good. Jacob, you got a lead. There's just a lot of kiting in the alternate path, especially in Dross. Oh, I think we're in Dross. No, we're in Downpour. Dross is the alternate path to Downpour, but Dross is also really garbage. I mean, which makes sense. It's a sewer. We need to find the item room. We don't want to go fight in the boss right now. Item room could either be, yeah, it's in this long hallway stretch. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna go with that. Absolutely not. Give that back to him. We're not going for the uh, the mom path either. 
So if you're wondering why we're not going to go hit the uh, the white fire right now, we're just we're not. I'm not that comfortable with Jacob and Iso. We're confident with them. I would need to seriously play probably a good 10 hours of Jacob and Iso before I feel actually confident. Because I still don't really get the positioning on Jacob and Iso a whole lot. Is he a two-phaser? I know that one of these bosses is like a two-phase fight. I know that he jumps here in this phase. And he actually like primarily switches to jumping. I didn't see I can't even see like the little like flickers that he threw at me. I saw it at the very end. Which isn't great because he needs dinner. He needs dog food. We're going up here. I could have went to the devil rooms, but I think the angel rooms are just so much better. Especially ever since Repentance. Like, ever since Repentance dropped, the angel rooms have just been so good. Like, it used to be, it used to be devil rooms all day. I'm saying I like angel rooms more. It's like some blasphemous Isaac words. Like, yeah, I like angel rooms, and they're like, why? I'm like, they just feel right. Let's, uh, I'm gonna use just this guy. Pick up the items. Mystery egg. We're gonna take a bone heart. I did not mean for Iso to pick up the egg. That's not good. Especially because I'm really not trying to have Iso be the one get hit. I still can't believe we screwed up that other run that bad. Um. Yeah, let's just give them both to him. We don't have any keys. And they've got so much, they got like so low base damage. Which, I mean, I get it. You have two streams of damage coming in. Like, they should have lower base damage. It just, they're so, they're so just different from everyone else in this game that it's just difficult for me to play them. But we're doing pretty decent, actually. Like, Forgotten and Jacob and Iso are probably my two worst characters, and we're doing a double run back-to-back -back live. Which is fine because I like I like this game a lot. Let's do that. Let's hit him with the bombs. Okay, yeah, we're see we're already split up, so now we need to There we go. We can survive the split. 
I thought this was Caves XL for some reason. The tower actually did some work. We're actually doing some pretty good work here, too. We're doing solid damage to the boss. Who had cube of meat? Cube of meat was Iso. You... There we go. We're going to get the meat, boy. And who had orbitals? I guess Jacob had orbitals. So... Playing like garbage, playing like garbage, playing like garbage, playing like garbage. Hide. We're actually not doing too bad. I say that and I immediately get hit. There we go. We got some keys. You know what that means. First off, we're checking down here. Get me out of that area. So we're going to go check. We should check there. Let's do it. Let's check. Yeah. He's just hopping around. He's having a good time. Let's open the chest. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get it away. Get it away. Get it away. Nightlight, I guess, isn't terrible. But we're not picking it up. We're going to need keys for next floor. Um, no, I don't want to go for the health bag right now. Tammy's head is fine and we're doing fine. I think we're going into Necro now, which is fine if we're going into Necro. Dank Depths. I really think Angelic Prism is one of my favorite visual looking items in the game. Like, honestly, I don't think it does a whole lot, but. Let's see if we get the six coin special. Let's see if we get it. The ten coin special. Still useful items. Again, still useful. If he if this greedy bastard swallows twenty coins. We don't know when to stop gambling. We don't know when to stop. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing that concerns us.
We got more coins. You know what that means. Feeding time. Little man's hungry for our pockets. We got the rotten meat. Honestly? Jacob. I didn't realize this is the curse that we're working with right now. It was Curse of the Maze. I know there's Boss Dingle over here. It's Quandale Dingle here. Oh, he needs... Give him that. Give him some more health. Let him run up the books. Let him just run it up. That's a sacrifice room, but we don't have anything to sacrifice. Here we go, here we go. The one time that I was kind of hoping for it to be greed. Here we go. See, normally I struggle with either Jacob or Iso getting, like, a decent amount of, like, protection. Iso, he's cranking him, man. He's doing so good for himself right now. Like, it's kind of nutty. That I was worried about this little man's not being able to, like, hold his own. He's, like, not only is he holding his own, he's dominating. He dominates. We're not trading a key for a key. That's just silly. Oh my gosh. This is not good. Stodge to the side. Shut him down. Now we could trade a key for a key if we really wanted to. I have so many familiars, it's just nuts right now. I just got hit by something. I don't know what I got hit by. We have 8% chance for an angel room, though. We have 8% in a dream. Hold the last door for me. I don't know why I wrote, read I'm excited as infested. But honestly, I'm excited is pretty bad. And if we don't know why I'm excited is bad, I'm excited triggers every 30 and 60 seconds. So now I think I it doesn't matter. I'm just going to outweigh it. We're going to go down. They say we're going. Yeah, see, look. The explosion can hurt Isaac. See, this item could actually really suck, but I want the Beelzebub above transformation. And as long as we keep our distance from it, I think we're going to be fine. Like, I really don't see cause for worry right now. Now I do. Come on, give it. No! 
Okay, we need to get rid of doorstop. Doorstop just completely messed our stuff up. We were doing our little dancey dance and we were doing pretty good. See, look at that. We're doing the dancey dance. Okay, we're gonna get eight cubes of meat at the shape. Look at that, we got the meat wad. Straight from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. He's here. Pick up Judas Tongue. Do not pick Doorstop back up. I pick Doorstop back up, I'm smacking the shit out myself. Not thrilled. Actually not thrilled anymore. You hit me, hit me with the evil laughter. Oh, it's the bony ones. I don't like that. Wait, it might only be one. It's only one. Continuum. Give me that. This is actually going to get so annoying, though. Let's go to the shop. We can't get Baghead. Which kind of sucks. But we can just bullet hose everyone down now, which is kind of nice. You know, we're actually doing surprisingly well by, like, most Isaac standards. The Jerry's Berry's Isaac standards are pretty low, though, so... I'm just like your average guy. I'm just playing a game. Let's get this going. Um, we got the egg. The egg is back. That's kind of cool, I guess. See, yeah, like, I'm all split up. There we go. Let's get unsplit up. Unsplit? Is that a word? Okay. Iso, you're taking the lead. Jacob, you're taking the lead. I'm a liar. I don't think we have enough to do the beast. I'm just gonna like kind of like wooks walk it back and forth here. Ooh. 
Because as long as I keep, like, moving, I should be fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, what have we done with these people? We've gone, we've gone up. Let's go down. As above, so below. We got our boy. We got our boy Gaby here. Gaby boy. Thank you. Now our only real problem is Iso has to lead. And that's another real problem is Curse of the Maze. It's too risky to be doing those. Like, it, it really, truly is too risky to be doing stuff like that. So if there's, like, an eye in the room, we need to focus down the eye. Bad trip is not good. We're actually in one of the worst positions we can be in because we don't have any health. Like we're actually in some of the worst positions I've ever think of I've think I've ever seen in this game. Question. It's gotta go up. Actually, in a ton of danger. Um, because they can laser. Yeah, we got hit there. Like, there was nothing we really could have done with that one. But it's all good. Like, that's honestly super good. Um, I think we're going to do one more run. I honestly think we're going to do one more. And then we're going to look into some... Playing a different game. We got Eve. I probably shouldn't be using the razor instantly off the bat. I know we get more health and stuff. Like, I know that we can get more... More use out of the razor by just going ahead and... Triggering it in, like, boss rooms and such. And just stacking regular damage items. But honestly, she's a 1 HP warrior. We need some soul hearts is what we need. But honestly, since we're not, since we don't have that second guy trailing us, 
We'll be fine. Familiar, stay closer to Isaac. Absolutely not. That will kill us. Member card. That's so nice. But we can't get member card because we're too poor. You know, you know what you say about asking for soul hearts? Ask and you shall receive. Tell Edmund McMillan to die in this game. As long as you complain, and you complain enough, and you ask, and you bitch, you will get what you need. It might not be on the run that you're doing it, but, you know, you'll still get something out of it. Like, look at this. We're gonna... We're gonna tank some... Din we're gonna get more... He we're gonna get more health. And we're gonna go in. And we're gonna do good. I didn't pay attention. I was talking so much smack. I was talking so much. We can't possibly let it end like that. 